Hi, my name is Quas from Team Liquid, and this is my basic champion guide to Gangplank in the top lane. I think Gangplank is a really strong pick right now. I would pick it into pretty much anything. He doesn't have any bad matchups, really. You can farm into anything, and you can actually pressure some of the matchups as well. You scale really well into late game, and you can snowball like crazy as well. Do your increased farming once you get Triforce. You can clear the wave in one shot with your EQ combo, and just stack up a lot of gold that way. So I would rate him pretty highly for solo queue. I myself have a pretty good win rate with him so far. The only thing is that he takes a while to get to know him well. So you need to put a lot of games on the champion, just be able to play him at an efficient level for him to get you a lot of wins. But I think he's pretty good in solo queue once you get the, the basics of him. For landing with Gangplank, what you're doing the most is just farming. His kit is mostly to farm out and then do really good chunks of damage later on. So you don't want to be getting into too many fights early on, but you can also trade efficiently. Sanctuary is passive. Your passive does a lot of damage, so you can, if you have your passive proc, you can last with the parley, so you don't waste your passive on creeps. And then if your enemy champion is a melee champion and he gets close to last hit, you can just hit him with the passive and then run into the brush to draw to drop creep aggro, and then keep on farming with parleys. And whenever he comes up again, you trade again like that. You can also use your barrels as a zoning tool and combo him if you get a gank for you you can combo it for the slow and if you get ganked you can just combo it for the movement speed and the slow on the enemies as they chase you down so again playing team fights what you're going to be doing the most is uh, using your ulti to zone out their backline from getting into the fight most people don't want to go through the ulti so it's a pretty good zoning tool as also, the most important thing obviously is your barrels and fights. You want to just keep an eye on their carries because you your ultis, your barrels can chunk uh, their carries really hard. But they're gonna have, they're gonna be careful about them, so you have to be smart to get them off. So I would say those are the two most important things to do: just keep an eye on the barrels and using your ulti to zone on people. So number one tip for gang playing is just being really careful of your barrel positioning. If you're up against a melee matchup, it's going to be a lot easier to get them off for a harass. You can put them in the mini wave and get a zone on the enemy champion. So that'll be pretty easy. But once it's the range champion, you have to be creative with the barrels. You have to start um, putting them in brushes or being really ready to proc them before they can kill them. If they get close to auto attack to kill it. So the squishies should get chunked a lot harder than the melee champions by your barrels anyway. So it wouldn't be, it's not as bad. It, uh, of matchups, but just keep an eye on the barrel positioning. Another tip is just to keep in mind that Gangplank farms the fastest out of any other champion, thanks to his parlay bonus. So if you have any opportunity to get a lot of gold from your barrel parlay combo, you should prepare the minions so that they all get really low and they use all that to explosion, because you get all the plunder gold from the explosion that get a few barrels if it gets killed by parlay. So keep it in my laning phase, if you have an opportunity to get 3 or 4 CS that are low with a, a, a parlay explosion in your barrel, then you should go for it every time as it will allow you to get your core items faster and snowball through the game. For doing some gangplank, I like to run scaling AD marks, scaling seals of armor, either magic resist or armor quins, and then scaling cooling reduction on your glyphs. The reasons why early game you want to use be farming most of the time, so you want runes to give you some defense and also allow you to scale into your later levels, which is when you're strongest. So I don't really like to go in for too many offensive flat um, AD runes personally, but it could work if you want to be playing more aggressively style. But uh, play style for masters, I just go for standard 2190, just maximize the amount of damage that you put out. For skill order, it depends on if you're doing double jungling or just going to lane straight up. If you're doing double jungling, I would suggest getting barrels level 1, so you can have some AoE damage to do the camps faster, and also a way to reset your passive just to do more damage on the camps and get it done faster. And level 2, you want to get Q, so you can farm with that. As soon as in, every time it's up, you should be queuing minions for it, and not really looking to trade with it. It's mostly just a gold generation tool, so that's what you're going to be doing the most. So you're going to be farming that first for that reason. It's following uh, the E because you want more damage with your combos and maxing your WLS. For item build, you can start with a Flask or a Doran's Blade. It depends on how the lane is going to play out. If you think you're going to, ha going to get harassed a lot, then it's probably better to start with a Flask. But otherwise, Doran's Blade is a pretty decent item on him to start with and 
it sets you up to rush a Triforce later, which I think is the most important item. Your core item should be Triforce no matter what. And following that, you have several options. You can either go tanky, you can get a lot of damage with Infinity Edge. You can also get a Yomu's Ghost Blade, which I think is a pretty decent item to get for him second. And you want to have a mix of offense items and a couple, like one or two defensive items so you don't get blown up. Thanks for watching this guide. Make sure to check out all of my other videos here at lawclass.com. Peel back with your ease to slow, or you can uh, dive into an enemy carry and damage them. It depends on how the team faces.